Jeff Rowland Damon Integrated, which is quite possibly the most extreme performing integrated amp in the marketplace. This is a stereo integrated amplifier rated at 1600 watts per channel at 8 ohms, 3200 at 4, and 6000 at 2. Uh, quite a incredible, incredible piece. As you can see, it's built like typical Jeff Rowland. It's one block of aluminum. This thing is massive. If we go down to the bottom, well, let me come from this side over here. I'll flip it on the side so you can see there's a piece of Delrin on the bottom like you've never seen before in your life. I'm going to turn this around so you can see what it looks like on the back. Here are all the hookups, and this is extremely thoughtfully put together, as many Jeff Rowland designs are. Uh, you've got your inputs here, your analog inputs, which are both balanced and RCA. Right here, you've got direct amplifier input. So if you want to bypass and you have a preamp and you want to just use this as an amplifier, you put your inputs here direct and you use your preamp and then all you're using is the amplifier section of this piece. You also have here preamp output. So if you want to just use the preamp from this piece, you can just use the preamp to power another amplifier. This is the DAC section that goes into the Damon, which is actually higher performance than the standalone Eris, which is $11,000, $400 DAC. So it's 11, whatever, 11,000 uh, bucks. This is a higher performance DAC than the one that comes in the Eris. So they really spared no expense. Jeff did spare no expense when he made this. And uh, we've got, um, and these are the outputs, dual outputs, so you can buy amp if you'd like, or buy wire, really. They're dual speaker outputs. It's got the remote. It's got a, um, a, a ground right here for the chassis ground if you want to add an extra ground. Um, and uh, on the front, we'll spin this back around. As you can see, it has a touchscreen front uh, panel. Uh, also, the controls here for standby, mute, and menu. And then you go through the, uh, the, the different menu options by spinning this or, or to turn up the volume or what have you, you just spin this thing, which is an eight inch, extremely heavy piece. I think this piece is like three pounds or something like that. It's, it has a very smooth feel to it. So this is a very intuitive system. I'll show you through the menu options in a second. Hold on. Okay, and um, as I know you guys like to see the insides of things, so this is easy enough for me to pull this top plate off. First of all, this piece is machined from half inch aluminum plate. Uh, this starts out as a half inch piece of plate and it's machined down. So this is incredibly solid and incredibly sturdy. Uh, we set this aside and as you can see, we've got the input section right here. You can see from over here, there's the, the, the transformers that are the Lundahl transformers that come from Sweden. That Jeff is one of Jeff's trademarks, or Lundahl input transformers. And then we've got the amplifiers, which are shielded, and they're in two separate sides. So it's a dual mono amplifier, 1600 watts, 1600 watts, one on each side. We've got the complex uh, uh, digital section here. The DAC is right down here on this board here. And man, this is just an incredible, incredible build. Uh, there are very, very few pieces that are built to this level, and Jeff Rowland is one of the few pieces. This piece can truly uh, replace a whole hi-fi rig in one box. So this is a one-system, complete ultra-high-end system, uh, complete. All you do is give it your source, whatever you want to do. You want to feed it with a CD transport if that's your gig. You want to feed it with a turntable, that's your thing. If you want to feed it with the streamer, whatever you want to feed it with, this thing is ready to do all the other duty. So um, this piece is $50,000, 5-0, and replaces uh, uh, a whole system. So you look at what a whole system costs, you add up the DAC, the preamp, the phono pre, all the other stuff. This has a choice of either a DAC or a world class phono pre that can go inside this this piece. You have your choice, um, and uh, it is really, really, really something else. We're going to listen to it. Um, I've listened to it before. 
This will power whatever speakers you got. You got half a million dollar speakers. This is fine. It's going to drive them no problem uh, and, and do it very well. And the DAC is going to be phenomenal. So this piece here is really... For the guys that want to, that have been doing this for a long time, they're kind of fed up maybe with all the boxes, all the power cords, all the wires, everything. This is a one box solution that you just put a power cord and speaker wires out to your speakers and that's all you need for a rig. So there's many of, of us that, are, that have been doing this for a very long time that have had all our fun and games with all the separates, all the different stuff. And finally, we want to bring it down into one piece this is the Mac Daddy that's going to do it. It's the Damon by Jeff Rowland Design Group. Um, anybody wants something like this, give me a call for consultation. So far, you guys have been doing great with that. And um, appreciate all the business. Uh, but this is really in its guarantee. I'll guarantee this thing through and through again. This will be the last piece you ever buy for your Hi-Fi rig. Should you want to consolidate and go to one piece and say, forget all this nonsense. I just only want to deal with one piece. It's not incredibly heavy. You can move it if you're pretty strong. It's, uh, I think it's right at like 80 pounds. Uh, so it's right in that iffy range where I can pick it up by myself. I just can't carry it very far. Um, and these, uh, these grips here on the side, you put a pair of gloves on and, and you grab through these uh, heat sinks and that's all you have to do to lift it. So I just wanted to make you aware of the Jeff Roland Damon integrated amplifier. I'm going to show you the controls in a second. So hold on. Okay, so first of all, here is the remote control. As you can see, this is also machined out of a solid piece of billet aluminum. It's, I mean, you could use this as a weapon. It's very heavy, very solid. Um, we come over here to get it out of standby. Press that, and you can see this turn on. Okay. Okay, and then look. Okay, so right here we have our volume. We can turn our volume up just by turning this so you can walk up and just touch that thing now everything else this is all just inputs okay well I muted it here so we can mute take it off mute but look XLR analog input 3 we can bring this over here this is for the amp in uh, direct XLR amp in direct RCA we've got the digital the USB um, and and this is all these are just our inputs so it's extremely extremely easy to follow along with this menu and then if we go to the menu we've got our inputs we've got the balance we've got the uh, absolute phase and then we've got our other settings which is screen brightness so it's extremely simple extremely intuitive with the inputs you can go back to the inputs you can custom name these whatever you want and you can go in you can show it you can hide it or show it depending on that on the main menu you go in and then it, it, it this gives us a low pass filter for DSD um, the name that you want to name it it gives you an icon to choose from and then a fixed volume if you want fixed volume or if you want to change that to uh, a volume that is uh, a variable volume so you have quite a bit of uh, flexibility uh, in terms of these let's see in terms of these uh, inputs of course we got the DSD low pass filter so we've got we've got a, a, a nice uh, selection of different of different options you can pretty much fine-tune anything name it whatever you want here's the inputs again we just spin for inputs all it is you just select your input you select your volume so it's super easy not only for us old guys but for the family as well if your family's going to use this the wife the kids if you dare let your kids around your rig uh, they can do this easy. It's just pick what the input is and you could just it'd probably be on the same thing all the time And then just the volume. So how does the Damon sound you want to know how the Damon sounds? Uh, with my Vienna acoustics absolutely dumbfounding amount of explosive dynamic extreme control and just transparency like you wouldn't believe so it's a very very clean sounding uh, it's a very, very clean sounding DAC, a very clean sounding amplifier. Uh, so it goes well with any speaker. You put it with a Wilson and it's just going to punch your lights out. You put it with a Magico, same kind of thing. It's just going to control those speakers like no other amp you've used unless you've had some huge high current amplifier. 
Um, and it also works with with speakers that are maybe a little bit more musical. If you have speakers that are a little bit sleepy, the daemon will absolutely wake them up and control them to an incredible degree. So it works across the board with pretty much anything. Now, any of the Roland Class D designs are extremely transparent. That's what they're known for. Sometimes you hear people say, well, Roland is maybe a little more of the musical and natural organic sounding. That is with the Class AB stuff, not with the Class D, okay? His Class D designs are extremely transparent, extremely dynamic, punchy. They control the speakers very well. Um, so you keep that in mind. If, and of course, nobody buys these things from me unless I consult with you and make sure that it is the proper purchase for what you're teaming it with, uh, or we team it together with something properly for your rig. So anyways, just wanted to give you my feedback on the sonic of it. It's a stupendous sounding piece. Um, it's, it's, it's kind of like a, a, a coup de gras almost. I mean, this is a masterpiece of Jeff Rowland design. So just wanted to let you know that real quick before I get back to you the other video that I did before. Okay, hold on. Another thing that I want to make clear about the Jeff Rowland gear, the Jeff Rowland equipment, is that Jeff Rowland is not only a long-standing 40 years in the business company that's been doing this with the same name and the same owner and the same founder for 40 years. But Jeff Rowland still personally designs all the pieces himself, and he does it on a draftsman table. Okay, I've never, I have, I, I know how this works because I used to see them do this in the old days. But Jeff Rowland, to this day, he does not use a computer to make his layouts for his circuits. He sits with a pencil and a ruler and a draftsman table, and he draws, hand draws his circuits. I'm, I have been trying to tell him, man, let me get some of those precious drawings that you don't use anymore, man. Let's make prints of them and, and, and let people get some of these super cool hand done drawings of the circuits that Jeff creates. So Jeff is not just a front man that just talks and sells stuff that he finds from this guy or that guy or whatever. Jeff actually designs the circuits. He's the same owner with the same company, with the same company name for the last 40 years. That, I don't know any other company in all of Hi-Fi that is still like that. If somebody else knows, you let me know of a company that for 40 years has still had the same ownership, the same name, and the same founder that hand designs everything himself to this day. I don't know of any other company that does that. So I don't think people understand the significance of a Jeff Rowland product. It looks cool, and all they think of is they think cool chassis. And that is absolutely, totally blind and silly to think that that's what Jeff Rowland is all about. You need to do your homework and learn a little bit more about this company and about this guy because there, I don't think, like I said, I don't think there are any other companies in Hi-Fi that still after 40 years have not changed hands, still the same founder is there, he still does all the repairs himself. That's unheard of. These pieces are going to be collectible at one day, and some of them are. If you look at his Model 8s, certain, um, uh, or was it Model 9, where he had, he had some incredible designs in his history that are absolute collectible pieces. Just look for used Jeff Rowland on the marketplace, and you will not find it. If you do find it, question which model it is because it might be some of the early class d stuff which is probably the least desirable but his class a b stuff and his class a stuff is collectible to the hilt um and this is proof of why it's how it's built and it is a it, it is a bespoke design made by a designer who's still there so anyways just wanted to hip you guys to that let you know about jeff Rowland, the Damon, which is a, replaces your whole hi-fi system it is the best integrated I know of in the marketplace in terms of performance and what you get for your money. So if you're interested, give me a holler. I'll let you guys know more about it. If you want to try one, let me know. If you want to fly in and demo, uh, play, pay for your plane ticket if you're looking to buy something like this. So just wanted to let you know. Thanks for joining. See you.